Hey girlies! In today's video, a businessman takes a vacation to Thailand, but his trip doesn't end up the way he had hoped for. In Jue. Ariel is a 40-year-old man who has been quite successful in the import business. He built a successful company over the past 15 years and was loved by his friends and family. Ariel had a side nobody knew about, however. He has been infatuated with ladyboys since he was a young man. When his business started taking off, he started using his new funds to go on lavish vacations in Thailand and indulge in his fantasies. Over the years he had been together with numerous ladyboys. Despite his infatuation with ladyboys, Ariel didn't always treat them well. He had a habit of not paying them or being overly rough in their encounters and generally did not respect their boundaries. He didn't know that the word had spread among the ladyboys he had relationships with, and they had come together to plot revenge. When he landed in Thailand, he quickly headed to his usual stop. He had already made arrangements with his usual travel agency. His date for this trip should have been waiting at the bar of the hotel. Ariel's eyes scanned the bar. It was a quiet night. He noticed Joy sitting on the corner. He headed her way. She had already ordered him a drink. You look gorgeous, Ariel said. He had a date with Joy last time too. She was quite adaptable, he thought. You look as handsome as ever, Joy replied. With that they began drinking. After a while Ariel got hammered. Did he drink that much? He couldn't remember. His mind was slipping. When he woke up, he found himself restrained on the bed. Joy was standing at the door with a menacing look on her face. What is going on here? Ariel struggled against his bonds. The room was dimly lit and he could not make out much detail around him. You didn't think that you could just keep treating us like this and expect to get away with it forever? Joy asked him, her voice dripping with anger. We have watched you for too long, seen how you degrade and mistreat every single one of us who has dared to give you what you claim to want. And you never gave us anything in return. Arinya added as she moved closer to him. I'm sorry, Ariel stammered. Please just let me go. I won't ever treat anyone like that again, I promise. You're sorry now, Joy snorted derisively. But when you get out of here and return to your normal life, you'll forget all about this and go back to mistreating us like before. No, I won't, Ariel insisted. I'll make it up to everyone, I swear. Yeah, right, Joy scoffed. We've heard that one before. She turned to Arinya and signalled for her to begin with the treatment. Arinya nodded and approached with a large needle filled with an unknown substance. Now, Arinya began to explain as she prepared to plunge the needle into Ariel's arm. This will not only transform you into a ladyboy, but will also erase any trace of your previous identity. You'll never be able to return to your old life and you will never hurt anyone again. With that... Arinya plunged the needle into his arm and the world went black, as Ariel felt his body being flooded with a burning sensation. We are going to be here for a while until your transformation is complete, she said, followed by a devilish smile. Over what felt like days, Ariel could feel his whole body burning. His chest was sore and had grown at an inhuman rate. His frame had gotten smaller and his skin had become smoother. His face had become softer and his lips had become plump. When it was all over, he looked down, and he could see a woman's body. He had become voluptuous and had a well-endowed chest. His body was completely hairless and smooth. As he was inspecting himself, Joy entered the room with a tray in her hand. Eat up, she said. The transformation must have left your body tired and you haven't eaten in days. She was right. Ariel was starving. As he munched on the food, she started explaining what was going to happen next. Your new identity is on the table, Ariella. There is no going back to your old life for you. We also took all your money as compensation for previously unpaid bills. But how will I get back home? Ariella interrupted. That is not our problem, sweetie replied Joy. I guess you'll have to work here for a while to save up for a plane ticket. Ariel nervously flipped through the stack of papers on the table, trying to process all the information that had just been given to her. It was clear that her former life was now permanently behind her, 
and that she would have to start from scratch as Ariella. Ariella looked down at her now fully transformed body, feeling a mixture of confusion and disbelief. Her body was now curves and smooth skin, with larger chest than she had ever seen on herself before. It was hard to believe that this was actually her now. So, what now? she asked, trying not to sound too desperate as she looked up at Joy and Arinya. She was hoping that they would take pity on her and offer some kind of assistance or guidance as to how to navigate this new life of hers. Well, first things first, Joy replied as she walked over to her and placed her hand on her shoulder. We need to get you some new clothes and makeup to help you blend in with the rest of us. Ariella nodded and followed Joy out of the room, feeling both grateful and nervous at the same time. She had no idea how to go about starting over as a woman, much less how to survive on her own without any financial support from her old life. Over the next few weeks, Ariella slowly began to adapt to her new life as a ladyboy. She had managed to find work as a dancer at one of the local bars and had made some friends among her co-workers and patrons alike. She was still struggling to navigate some aspects of her new identity, like how to apply makeup correctly or how to walk and move like a woman, but she was trying her best and was determined to make this work somehow. One night, as Ariella was performing on stage at the bar, she spotted Joy and Arinya watching her from the back of the room. She felt a pang of anxiety in her stomach as she thought back to that fateful night when they had transformed her and left her to start over on her own. As she danced and twirled on stage, she couldn't help but wonder if they were watching her to see how she was doing or if they were waiting for her to slip up so that they could take her down again. She knew that she had to keep pushing herself harder and harder if she wanted to prove to them that she could make it on her own and succeed in this new life of hers. As the weeks turned into months and Ariella continued to work hard and make progress in her new life, she eventually began to feel more confident and comfortable in her own skin. She had even made a few romantic connections with some of her patrons and was starting to see herself as more than just an object to be used and discarded by men. Despite her initial struggles and fear, Ariella had grown to love her new life as a ladyboy. She had made many friends and was now considered one of the most talented dancers at her bar. The transformation had given her more than just a new body and a fresh start. It had also taught her valuable lessons about empathy and respect, and had made her a stronger and more resilient person overall. As Ariella looked back on her journey from Ariel to Ariella, she couldn't help but feel grateful for everything that had happened to her along the way. She knew that she wouldn't have been able to become the person she was today without going through all of these challenges and setbacks first. And even though she was now ready to go back home and start over again, she knew that she would never forget the people and experiences that had helped shape her into the confident and independent woman she was today. So with her head held high and her heart full of hope and determination, Ariella set off on her journey back to the United States as Ariella, ready to face whatever challenges and obstacles life might throw her way next. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.